escape. Danny the Tunnel Builder. Um, what is his name? Charles, thank you, Charles Cross. You, you learn by the end of the movie that, that Danny the Tunnel Builder suffers from claustrophobia. And every minute he's down in that tunnel, he's in excruciating mental agony. But being in the camp is just as bad, so he endures the tunnel in order to get out of the camp. Um, you know, I found most writers that I know find the process of writing to be excruciating. And one would ask, why do it if it's so painful? Um, I'm here to tell you that I, over 25 years, have, you know, made a lot of progress in this area, and it's much less painful now. You know, it's not happy, but it's better. And I think that, that uh, my work habits as a writer have improved because I'm not so miserable doing it. You know, I mean, I was as good as anybody here. I, I would stand up against anybody in terms of how, how I could procrastinate. <laughs> there, was a, there was a period of time, uh, it was interesting, it was, it was right after Special Bulletin, and I had my first taste of real success, which is the worst possible thing that can happen to you as a writer because then you're just like, you know, you don't know what move to make next. And I, it took me 14 months to write the first draft of a project. And I would go into my little office in the morning, and I would sit down at my desk in front of the computer, and I would put my head down and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would wake up, and this was 1985, and the computers were pretty primitive in those days, and I had one of the earliest versions of Word Perfect. And I would create macros for Word Perfect. And I created this whole brilliant system, you know, of, of screenplay formatting that didn't exist. In, you know, we didn't have those great programs, you know. And I, by the way, over the years, I gave it to other people. They, they loved it. And that kept me from writing for, you know, five, six months. <laughs> so, you know, that was because it was so miserable to do. It was so painful. And it was so full of self-censorship and, and self-judgment and the voices that you hear it's it's a it's really a it's a it's a miserable thing when you when you're afflicted by that. Um, I think that over time I've come to the notion that this thing I'm writing at this moment, those lines, might not be that bad. That I might not have to throw out my entire approach to writing and come up with a new one because my approach must be bankrupt. You know, I used to have these thoughts all the time. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, Someone else would do it better, blah, 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 on and on. There is some measure of self-acceptance that's come over the years, and it makes it much easier to write. Also, I do a lot of my writing dead now. Uh, and that started, you know, in that moment, about, um, I guess, you know, got to do the math, 17 years ago, where I was really just stuck. And I was, as a matter of fact, writing the first draft of the pilot for 30 something. And it had taken me about two weeks to write the first act. And one day Ed just came and sat down next to me and took the keyboard. And we never had a conversation about it. We never discussed the terms of it. You know, we never figured out how we would divvy it up. We just started. And we've been writing together ever since a lot of the time. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. And it is easier when you have somebody else. You have to trust that person. Um, but it's definitely easier. Right now, because we're so busy, you know, we have to find the moments. We generally will set aside mornings when we're writing, and we'll, we'll set aside three hours, and we'll get a lot done in three hours. You know, I mean, at my best, I was only good for four hours a day. I would either take the whole day to do the four hours, or I would do it in a four hour stretch, but basically four hours was it. After that, it was pointless. And by the way, when I'm on a roll, you know, I could write 13, 14, 15, I could write a lot of pages in four hours if I was really writing. So, um, if you can just sort of relax and enjoy it and just let it happen, you can get a lot done in a short amount of time.